What's up guys, Donnie Diamond here in V-Flat Studios Warehouse and over here we have our model Adriana with us. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get absolutely gorgeous soft light using only one stroke. This is tricky usually because one strobe means you're only bringing in light from one direction. But I'm using a white V-flat over here to bounce back light into our subject to soften up the light and brighten up those shadows. And we're using an eight foot scrim today to really soften up an already soft light light source. So today I'm using an A1 and I'm using a 51.2 lens. And I'm shooting super wide open today and I'm not even using high speed sync. I have my shutter set to 1 over 320 and I have my f-stop at 1.3 and my ISO at 100. I'm using, a I'm using a Flashpoint Explorer 600 Pro which is also known as Godox and I am having it at 1 over 32 power. So let's get straight to shooting guys. Let's see what we can do. Let's create some magic. There we go. Let's take a couple test shots see how this is looking. And it's already looking beautiful. I have my white V-flat set up over here all the way in the background because I wanted to bounce some light into our background over here so that we don't have too many harsh shadows in the background. And also it is bouncing light back into our subject. So if you notice, I have this set up in the shape of a V. Over here, this is bouncing our light source into the background. And then this one is bouncing light right back into our subject so she doesn't have super dark shadows on the back of her. 1.6. And you're probably wondering, what is this guy doing shooting such a wide aperture? As you guys know, as you guys know I am a bokeh snob. I love my bokehlicious images. I love when the background just creams out. And especially in the studio because it's something that's so unique. Usually in the studio, people are shooting at high f-stops. And so the entire background is in focus. The entire model is in focus. It's very rare to see studio images where you have quick fallout and the ears are already blurring out. And I think that really makes the subject stand out. So here we go. Let's try it. So good. When you have a light source like this, what makes it amazing is that it is super soft light and no matter what angle you're shooting your subject at, the lighting is really soft because we have such a massive light source flooding our entire scene with light. We're using an eight foot by eight foot scrim right now and we have our flash set up about two and a half feet behind it because if it's too close, then it's not softening up the light enough. The further back you move your light source behind the scrim, the softer your light will become because it spreads out over the entire surface of your scrim. All right guys, there you have it. A very simple, easy method that you could go out and try right now in your studio. I'm all about keeping it simple in the studio because when I first started, it was very overwhelming to me to see a lot of strobes, a lot of ideas, and there's so many elements that could go wrong. But with only one light and a V-flat, you can't go wrong. It's very hard to screw it up. It's fail-proof method. Go out and try it, guys. Enough YouTube for today. Get off YouTube. Let's do it, people. Create content. That's what we're all about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>